right, so welcome everyone to the IBC community call, the Christmas edition community call just before the holidays. Uh, before we start with the updates, uh, just two two things to to mention. Uh, yeah, I think last time, last community call, we also mentioned this. Uh, we're gonna be moving to a monthly cadence. Uh, so the next next call will be on January 9th, and then uh, the the one after after. Uh, will be yeah the first Tuesday of the uh, first Tuesday of of uh, every month from from them on uh, yeah and uh, in the next call uh, our friends of IBC RS team are also gonna join our call from now on uh, and update uh, also uh, on their work um, yeah so just uh, so that everybody knows but there will be some some, some changes uh, starting with the new year. Cool. Um, then we can start with the updates. Uh, so, Susanna, if you kick it off. Yeah, sure thing. Um, I think I actually meant to keep the IBC Go end of life calendar thing just somewhere at the top. Just um, if people want to follow that calendar, there's somewhere easy for them to like be linked to. But like, uh, but maybe I don't know the best place. It's just uh, meant to be something useful if people. Let me put it somewhere, maybe, maybe here. Uh, I will fix it later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't actually. I don't have anything else to add on that other than it's just a a calendar that you can subscribe to, which gives you um like a notification, an event for when uh, IBC Go version is approaching end of life. Um. And. In terms of the product updates, now that we're coming closer to channel upgradability being finished, um, we've been looking more into how Feedman and Aware can be rolled out. So we have a few commitments from some of the larger chains. We ideally want uh, our approach is more if a few larger chains in Cosmos adopt the middleware. I think it's more likely that other chains will also adopt it. Um, I submitted a draft CIP for it to be added to Celestia and I've had some conversations with some of the other chains noted there. Um, I think one of the biggest open questions, which we're actually speaking to Sam about yesterday, is about um, how to work out exactly how much the tip should be. Um, so we've just been doing a bit of work looking into that. And uh next week we have a kind of wrap up blog um of some highlights of things that have happened in IBC in the year. So we'll put that out before the end of the year. Thank you, Susanna. Now any questions or uh, I, I I have a quick question about the the fees. Uh, so will this be like enforced by the chain or like how would it work? Because at the moment, uh, like um, as far as I tested it with Hermes, it's kind of free and you put whatever you want and that's done. I'm wondering if that will introduce like kind of new event errors or things like that, that we need to look out for. So the, the female wire is like opt-in. So I think at least at the start, you'd probably have a combination of some packets which are incentivized and some which aren't. Um, I've been asking a few relays on if they would use like the Hermes fee filtering thing, um, but it's not like enforced that there must be a minimum fee for your packet to be relayed. Um, it's not like a, that's not like a chain parameter. Um, is that what you meant? Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. if it did, was more of a, a suggestion to put like a minimum fee or if it was kind of going to be enforced and causing potential errors or things like that. No, it's, it's like a opt-in. Okay, thanks. But, but yeah, ideally, we'd want the fee to cover like gas price on the source chain, gas price on the destination chain. And then I think it's reasonable to have like a small markup to cover 
like client update costs and um, infrastructure costs for the relayer. So it's kind of just a question of exactly what that should be. Um, okay, thank you. Hey, um, I, I also had a question about the, um, the fee middleware. Um, so I see that you have commitments from Injective, Cosmos Hub, and Osmosis, which is great. Um, I'm happy that you're doing that. Um, I'm just kind of curious, like when when do you think those commitments will be filled? Like when when do you think that um, I guess that they will you know integrate this into their chain um, so that you know other chains I guess can start uh, looking at it? Yeah. So I think the first step is just adding the female wear to your chain, which as it was a kind of feature in the V4 release, that's already possible. But the kind of blocking part uh, to have it like more rolled out is more extensively rolled out is that you would need to have V8.1 of IBC Go. So I think this is already a bit of a like impediment to some of the timelines of when this would be rolled out because Injective are on V7, uh, the hub, I think is recently just on V7. Um, Osmosis are in the process of upgrading to V7, um, but it's like to upgrade your SDK version also takes like generally like uh, a bit of a time. So kind of has to fit into that. So realistically for teams to upgrade to the latest SDK version and then use channel upgradability. I think probably the earliest time we'd see that realistically is more towards the end of Q1, start of Q2. Okay, got it. And uh, yeah, th thanks for that, uh, Susanna. Uh, super insightful. All right, anything else? Okay, not, uh, um, we can move on to the updates from protocol engineering. Uh, for uh, yeah, the OI, the WASM module, the WASM clients module, uh, we just merged today the, the last uh, code changes uh, that we needed to, to make, uh, the last PR, hopefully the last PR. Um, and now we're backporting it to the release branches. Uh, I think there's one backport still open, but as, as soon as we merge that one, uh, we can uh, tag RC. Uh, so there will be a couple of uh, tags Mer merged now. Great, cool. Then uh, I will, yeah, we can run the the, the test, the end-to-end -end test that we have, and then we will tag uh, the RC uh, for the two compatible versions that we're creating, uh, one for uh, IBC Go 7.3 and the other one IBC Go V8. Uh, and then the the final release will be coming soon afterwards. So, but the latest would be early next week. Yeah. Then uh, we're also working on channel gradability. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this iteration that we started yesterday, uh, we're gonna try to complete all the beta milestone issues and uh, the end-to-end -end tests. Uh, yeah, if we if we accomplish these two things, um, we could yeah we we could tag the the first uh, release candidate of the feature. Um, yeah, if we manage to do that, that would be our Christmas present for the community. Uh, and then uh, yeah, in the new year, uh, yeah, in January we would uh, yeah finalize the the release the the V eight point one release uh, with channel credibility. Um, Hopefully, yeah, uh, by the end of January, it should be out. Um, yeah, and then we're also working a bit um, on uh, uh, yeah, starting to detail out more the work for uh, conditional clients and integration with Rollkit. Uh, and we will yeah, pick up this after channel uh, upgradability. So somewhere probably after mid-January or end, end of January. Yeah, so that's a bit the, the updates. Uh, any any questions about these things?
All right. If there's no questions, then we can talk about at this from the related teams. Uh, Luca, thanks for filling in your updates. Yeah, sure. Um, so small updates from Hermes. Uh, we released two patches, one adding some new metrics and another one just improving a bit uh, misbehavior uh, evidence command and also fixing a bug which prevented uh, the report. Uh, we're working a lot on uh, on uh, the Namada PR, so that's why we don't have uh, many other updates. Cool. Uh, Namada PR that's uh, to support uh, Namada in Hermes then uh, yes right? uh, they opened a PR to to relay for Namada and we're looking at uh, running our tests so bootstrapping the chain with uh, our test framework and running all the tests mm -hmm. and also reviewing the PR at the same time cool nice oh just a question uh, do you know uh, the support for oh it was um is in the roadmap for next year right uh, uh, yes, it should be. I, th I think there, we were discussing today, uh, like to have a more clear uh, Q1 planning. So I'll be able to confirm that, I think, in the next days. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Luca. Um, I'm not sure if I think there's nobody from the Relayer team. No, I think we don't have anybody from Strange Love today so no updates updates for the relayer team uh, relayer golan relayer uh, so then we can move to the other topics uh, so anything else to discuss any questions or any topics to discuss apart from the updates Jim, if you're on the line, just summarizing our kind of timing to get upgraded into various IBC things might be useful, or at least we should post it. Uh, okay, we can post it. The uh, bottom line is that we're uh, trying to reach uh, IBC Go 7 by uh, the end of January after uh, a long uh, a long time kind of uh, frozen on... Uh, uh, on an old release to get our uh, JavaScript environment up and running. Cool. All right, great. And then we'll be much quicker on getting staying up to speed because we, we're now yeah. on approximately mm -hmm. monthly releases. So we should be able to catch up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Great. Cool, thank you. <clears throat> I have a question. I, this might just be me not tracking it, but the Interchain accounts a controller module. Um, what is the status of that with regard to like making it kind of a de facto standard? Um, you know, either it needs to be kind of like more closely packaged with Interchain accounts itself or added to. IBC apps or like something along those lines. Um, curious what how you're thinking about. Um, so I, I think I could I didn't really understand the question. So uh, the 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 interchain account the controller sub module is part of the let's say interchain accounts feature. Uh, the interchain accounts app uh, in IBC Go. Uh, so so what's what's really the question? Sorry, Sam. Uh, uh, so you have, like, this might not be, this may be me not knowing the current status. So so you've integrated the Interchain Accounts controller into the mainline ICA release, is that right? A yeah, default, yeah. yes. I think that's since V6, if I'm not mistaken, that governance yeah. can now control Interchain Accounts by default. Um, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was just me not. Not tracking the repo. No problem. Yeah. Cool. Any anything else? All right. If there's nothing else, then um, yeah, I wish you a very nice holiday season and a great start of the year. Um, hope to see you in the next call, January 9th.
Thanks all. All right. Thank you, everyone. Happy holidays. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. You guys, happy holidays.